In normal circumstances during a wedding, it's custom that you get either one name change or none at all. However, I can't help but feel that's a little bit pedestrian given the fact I've made you all wait four years for this to happen. So, with that in mind, Michael, you are not just getting one title change today, you're getting two. <laughs> Kelly, if you would do the honours, thank you very much. So, in light of the fact I've made you wait for four years longer than I intended, you will now lo no longer be Mr Dunlop Gilmer, you are Lord Michael Edward Dunlop Gilmer. <laughs> That's right. I pronounce you Lord Michael Edward Dunlop Gilmer. <laughs> Greg, the day has finally come. Can you believe it? 2,554 days ago, you asked me to be your boyfriend and since then, it has been a journey. I knew when I first met you, we had something special. I think we both did. The endless journeys to see each other, often only for a day. The long phone calls, the texts, the FaceTimes, trying to spend as much time together and then our first Christmas together. It was time for your long awaited plan. You asked me to marry you, and here we are. Thank you so much, Craig. You're welcome. Oh, you're sweet. I know, it's for you. <laughs> oh, okay, that's it's just as well as giving us this. Big sweaty hugs. I know. Big bear sweaty hugs. Beautiful. <laughs> Bastard, thank you. We are total opposites in a way, but we gel together well. You put up with my crazy life of cats, candles, chickens, nursing and everything else. You accept the way I am and stand by me every step of the way. And I can't thank you enough for encouraging me to be me. You're my biggest supporter and cheerleader. You taught me how it is to be loved and cared for. Showed me the sky is the limit and showed me that I can do everything I put my mind to. I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together and seeing where life takes us. I love you to infinity and beyond, Michael. Well, I'm going to kill him. Oh, that's cute. So it's to infinity and beyond the date and Michael and Greg. My word. Oh my god. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. He's Of course, hold all. I love it. Oh, he's a prick. <laughs> I'm shaking like a leaf man. Beautiful. Thank you. <sighs> He got me a Louis Vuitton wallet, mum. He's such a bastard. I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> Kill it, man. Cut my big teeth. We'll be fine. Right. We'll be fine. Dear Michael, I've been writing this letter on and off for years. Throughout the early years after we got engaged, throughout the pandemic, and now a few weeks before we actually finally get married. The one thing I'm struggling with is what to put in, to, what to say. The truth is, there are no words big enough or impressive enough. I was never any good with communicating my feelings very well. Either I'm not Taylor Swift for God's sake. <laughs> when it comes down to it, I know I'm not the easiest of people to be around. I am not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I have my flaws and I'm not always the perfect partner. For some reason you stuck around. I'm going to pin that down to how much I make you laugh. I know why I chose you to be my soulmate. Your smile could light up a dull room 
and you're as beautiful as the day I met you. When I first looked at you, those beautiful bluey green eyes. After all this time, I figured out what's most important for you to know before you meet me down the aisle and become my husband, simply. No matter what happens before today, no matter what comes tomorrow, I'm always going to spend the rest of my life with you. Love you always, yeah. with all my heart. So and we're going to face whatever comes our way, good, bad, as we always do together. With that said, will you come meet me at the end of the aisle and make me the happiest man alive and marry me to infinity and beyond, Greg? Hi. Hello. Who are you for? Oh, hello, handsome. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look beautiful. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you? Fine, I don't... Where's the pot of strap? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you stressed and you're right? No. How you feeling? Bye. You're a bastard, by Hi. the way. See what you got me. You're a bastard. You won, I'm obviously. Won. You won, obviously. Won. But I love this. This is Do beautiful. Like I'm good, I'm glad I like it. It was when I was reading your letter, I was like... <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what a bastard. Thank you so much. You look handsome. So do you. You're ready then. You look beautiful, I love this. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Oh. Well, listen, I've no choice. I'm here now. <laughs> here now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and please be seated. <clears throat> Michael, today I take you to be my husband. Together we will create a home, becoming a part of one another. I vow to help create a life that we can cherish, inspiring your love for me and mine for you. I vow to be honest, caring and truthful to love you as you are, and it's not as what I'd want you to be, and to grow old by your side as your loving best friend. Hey Greg, I'm going to ask you to do the same, please. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> You've got this. Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's now my absolute delight to now declare you're legally married and pronounce you husband and husband. You may kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so I present to you for the very, very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Dunlop Kimler. Did, did I say Mrs.? Did I say Mrs.? Hang on, Mr. and Mr. Hi. You're the Mrs. Thank you. Oh my God, that is a camel. Same. I can't. I can't actually feel the back of my throat. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 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 Alright. Good man. Nice, doesn't it? Same colour as his eyes. Yours is posh on his. Oh, no, I don't keep saying that to me. His weighs a ton. Uh, if he was to fall off a boat, he would float. To Greg and Michael, oh, it's nice. been a long time and we're looking forward to the rest of their life together. Day. Congratulations. Congratulations. Michael, I am by no means a perfect person. Far from it. I am Mrs Dunlop Gilmer, after all. <laughs> But you make me a better person and you inspire me to be a better person. There is no doubt that I'll mess up. No doubt. We may even disappoint each other. But I will never take you for granted. And I'll always give you everything I have in my heart. Thank you for walking into my life. I have enjoyed every second of it thus far. And I can't wait to see what happens next for us because we will face it as we always do together. Mr. and 
Right. I didn't mean that. <laughs> right up. Beautiful. <laughs> Good thing they didn't have the pink one. <laughs> you keep that further out. Oh, nice.